Our top story at 5.30, what a study of Major League Baseball players could reveal about the spread of the coronavirus. Good evening, I'm Elizabeth Cook. And I'm Alan Martin. KPI X5's Kenny Choi live with what that study might tell us. Kenny? Guys, uh, the results from the first antibody, nationwide antibody uh, test study coming out of Stanford University and involving Major League Baseball are expected any day now. When those results come in, the question becomes, how do we interpret the results from studies like this? One recent antibody test study spearheaded by Stanford University suggested the infection rate in Santa Clara County could be 85 times larger than the actual number of confirmed cases. So far, what we see seems to give a consistent message that this is a very common infection, that people don't recognize that they're infected. Uh, this is both, both good news and bad news. It's good news because uh, it's a more mild infection in general. It's bad news because it uh, means that uh, it's very difficult to contain. Antibody test studies have also been conducted, including in Los Angeles, Miami, and New York. But the Stanford Major League Baseball study is the first to look at infection rates across the entire country. 27 teams distributed an estimated 300 tests each to see how many of its 10,000 employees, including field crews, players, front office executives, and even vendors, tested positive for antibodies. It's another data point that, that would be very interesting to compare against the other data points that we have from more geographically based uh, studies. They have to, to see how each study is agreeing or not agreeing with others. Some proponents pushing policymakers to ease social distancing orders have used antibody test studies, arguing if the number of infections is higher, then the mortality rate is lower. But others have called into question how samples were chosen and the accuracy of finger prick tests used in some studies that haven't been approved by the FDA. The tests are good in concept, but a little bit difficult in execution. And interpreting the studies depends on which community you're looking at the results in. If you have a false positive rate of something like 1% and you test 15% of people in your population are positive, well, you know, maybe 1% of those 15% might be false positives, but you still have a pretty good idea what's going on. So it really, it really depends on the actual numbers. Dr. Bhattacharya, who is leading this MLB study, tells me that all the data from the 10,000 employees has been analyzed right now as we speak. They're working on the finishing touches of the paper before the results can be released then to the public. Live in San Francisco, Kenny Choi, KPIX 5.